place where an animal lives or the home of an animal is called its habitat. Animals need food, water and shelter to survive. And a habitat contains all these things which are essential for an animal to survive. Different kinds of animals make homes to live in. And they, there are so many reasons why they make home. That is to stay warm and dry during cold weather. Or to stay safe. Or to look after their babies and to protect them from other animals that might eat them. So, in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the amazing homes that animals make. Let's start with this white furry animal called polar bear. Polar bear like to spend most of their time near the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean. During fall, if a polar bear is pregnant, she digs a cozy den in the snow. She then climbs into the hole and stays there to give birth and then to look after her cubs for the first few months of their lives. The den is just big enough for her and her cubs. It's warm and snug in there while it's freezing outside. Mother polar bear and her cubs will not come out from the den until the spring. This process is called denning and the female polar bear den in the wild so that to get a safe place and to stay warm and to get a quiet place for her and her cubs. So we have seen that there are some big animals who make very small homes. On the other hand, there are some small animals that have very big homes. Let's take a look. Ants are known as a hard working creature in the world. And do you know, these are one of the few animals in the world who are able to modify their environment according to their need. They often build very elaborate nest and spend lot of energy in the construction. They stay in their nest for years and sometimes decades. The structure of the ant hill is different in different species and areas. It is a network of tunnels and channels that help in the regulation of temperature and moisture. The entire outer surface of the ant hill is covered with small entry points. These are the doors of their house. These entry points are also sealed with pebbles and stones when ants need to protect their colonies. Inside of an ant hill there are many tunnels and these tunnels are finally joined at various levels at the nest. Each level has different rooms. The construction of the nest is like a maze which provides a higher level of protection. Another example of a small animal with a big house is termite. Termite live underground at the bottom of their mounds. And do you know, they can build mounds as tall as a bus. Though, it takes millions of them to do it. These are built in special way with air conditioning facility. Here, air inside the mound is always cool and fresh. There is one more small animal who keep their home very neat and tidy. Do you know who is that? Yes, that's honeybee. Honeybee fill their hives with little cells made from bee wax and lay their eggs in that. The cells are all exactly the same size and fit together with no gap. So next in the list we have a large bird called stork. Stork love to make very bulky nest. Male and female collect stick from the surrounding area. Their nest is made of long and dry sticks. The inner lining of the nest is quite thick and is made of straws, hay and mud. Beaver is a very skilled animal. They are very good swimmer. So 
they make their house in water their house is called lodge to build a lodge beavers first of all select a location for that they select a place which is very close to their food source and the second requirement is it should be 5 to 6 feet deep and if it is not they make a dam across the water dam blocks the flow of water and makes it deep beavers use their teeth to cut down the trees and branches in the nearby area and drag them to their construction location they chew the wood with their teeth into smaller pieces and pile them they insulate their lodge by using mud and every year they keep on adding more logs and mud their lodge contain a single large room which can accommodate the entire family of 4 to 8 beavers beavers put lot of effort and hard work in constructing their amazing house with lot of details that's why they are called busy beavers birds make their nest with feathers twigs and straw but there is one bird who make their nest with their own saliva surprised swiftlet is a small bird and is found in southeast asia they make their nest by using their own saliva when saliva comes in contact with the air it becomes hard it is opaque and whitish in color these are also called edible nest and are harvested for human consumption birds nest soup is a special delicacy in southeast asia due to its high protein content and rich flavor and there is one more animal who makes a new home every day and that animal is orangutan every evening an orangutan makes a comfortable nest out of branches and leaves to sleep in that night and sometimes they build a new home for an afternoon nap as well so so far we have seen that there are some big animals who make very small homes and there are some small animals who make very big homes other than that there are some animals who make their homes out of sticks and even some that make their house out of their spit there are some animals who keep their home very neat and tidy while there are some animals with their homes that make a big impression and there are some animals that build a new home every single day hope you enjoyed learning about the animals and their amazing house please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching